This was uh, many, many years prior to uh, land claims, which, you know, uh, probably 40 years prior when the railroad was built and they came through and uh, the grave, the native graveyard was from the riverbank up the hill and uh, um, when the railroad went, it went through the graveyard, as you know, standing, and there was a lot of, uh, I did see some, like some graves that when we get real high waters and the water would cut the land there on, on the far side across the river, you'd see some of the graves open up and, uh, you know, the remains falling into the river, being swept away. And so we knew there was a lot of graves in that, in that area. And of course there was no, uh, you know, I don't think the railroad did anything about, you know, when they found them that they reburied them or anything anywhere else. So there was, you know, that issue has always been boiling in the background. So I had uh, Minto, of course, was the lakes, of course, a good fishing area, hunting area, a lot of, you know, a lot of wildlife, uh, uh, ducks, geese, so on, that uh, a lot of the folks in Fairbanks wanted to ha they had cabins there, and those guys, you know, float planes and fly in and do their, build their cabins, of course, and just, uh, you know, uh, squatted in there, so to speak, and uh, come to claim it as their own. And so there was that issue. And so there was, uh, you know, those are the ones that were close to me and the ones I knew about. 